And we have this exclusive reporting now from NBC News. President Biden has been presented with op options for massive cyber attacks against Russia. In response to the invasion of Ukraine, attacks could be at a scale never before contemplated, interrupting power, internet connectivity, even tampering with railroad switches in Russia. Joining us now, NBC correspondent Ken Delaney, who broke this new reporting, and MSNBC national security analyst Clint Watts. Uh, Ken, first to you, bring us up to speed. What is being presented to the president? We should caution we don't know that he's signed off on any of this. But what is so interesting is that this would be, in advance of any attacks against us, it would be offense or defense, if you will, defense of Ukraine, which was hit again with cyber attacks this morning. That's exactly right, Andrea, and that's what's so significant here. American officials and others briefed on the matter tell Courtney QB and me that these options include things like shutting off the Internet in parts or all of Russia, disrupting uh, trains and railroads that are resupplying uh, Russian troops in Ukraine, uh, everything from making the trains not function to making them fall off the tracks, as one person put it. Um, the, these options are designed to disrupt but not destroy, we are told. So they would fall short of an act of war. They would be carried out by a variety of agencies, including U.S. Cyber Command, the National Security Agency, the CIA would be involved. Um, they're designed to be deniable, to be secret. And the fact that we're reporting on them sort of underscores the complexity of all this. Uh, and and they are designed to strike Russia in, in, in part in retaliation for this invasion and in part to defend Ukraine. And irrespective of whether Russia strikes back and the sources who are talking to us fully expect that Russia would retaliate with what they describe as colonial pipeline style attacks designed to hurt American consumers. They are factoring that in. And that's why, in fact, there is a big debate within the administration right now, we are told, Andrea. There are some people who view this as is really dangerous and escalatory uh, because both Russia and the United States have the ability to destroy one another's critical infrastructure in cyberspace and to turn off the power, things that would become an act of war. Uh, but there's another camp that says, why do we have all these cyber weapons if not to use them in a, in a situation like this, where, again, not designed to kill people, but designed to make Russia pay a price in a way that only cyber can, Andrea.